What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Philly Flipper live channel with your host, me, Paul the Philly Flipper. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys had an eventful week, a good, fun Q4. I uh, hope you guys have a good start to your Q4. Uh, we are here on a Sunday. I am recording. Uh, I am recording before the Eagles game. Um, the Eagles are about to play the Cowboys. Um, I'm recording around 5 p.m. on a Sunday. The Eagles play the Cowboys at 8 p.m. I was just done finish. I was just done. Does that make sense? I was just done finishing editing my video for my main channel. You guys will see me wearing the same clothes there on Monday, which should be yesterday for you guys. Been an eventful week, a very eventful weekend. Been an eventful day. Um, with uh, with Vita here and my sister here, we are kicking some butt. Um, getting Q4. Uh, having a good head start into Q4, listening a lot, doing a lot of prep work. Uh, Vita has been helping me clean this warehouse quite a bit. Like, let me show you guys what it looks like in here. It's been great to see it before, but as you see, everything is like super neat, very organized. Look at all these like clean spaces up in here. Everything is neatly put away. Look, like it's looking so good. It's looking pretty good as you guys see it right here. My death pile is slowly going away again This is not a death pile. Most of the stuff here came from this weekend like this tote and this tote And then like a couple boxes over there the rest of the stuff has just been here for a little longer than that, but As you see, it's not much. It is not much at all. This area is clean. This area is clean This area is a clean um it's crazy what a clean like warehouse does for your mental capacity. Just, just happier coming into the warehouse. You're happier to work when you don't see clutter everywhere. So it's it's great. Uh, we have a couple of areas left to clean. Like my office is a disaster. We have to do that. And then this area right here is pretty bad. We have to do that. But we're hopefully we're gonna tackle it and destroy it this week. Also had a pretty good week of sales. Um, I think Thursday was my best day. I had like 55 sales on Thursday, which is kind of crazy. Uh, this weekend has been pretty good. Uh, 70 plus sales this weekend, mostly all on eBay. But we have some high value items selling on other platforms as well. So I uh, I have zero complaints. <laughs> Last week I said it was a little slow. I have to stay positive. This week I have zero complaints. Life is good. I have nothing to complain about. My Philly sports teams are winning. I have zero things to complain about. So uh, you guys are going to see Happy Paul today. Happy Paul. Uh, hopefully that's a good Paul for you guys to see. So like always, we're going to start with the sales on the other platforms. And we had sales on Mercari. We had sales on Poshmark. We had sales on Facebook. We'll start with Facebook first. I have one guy that said, uh, I have one guy that bought for me about an hour ago on Facebook as well, but it's pending. So I'm not gonna pull it yet in case there's some issues with the guy's card or whatever. So it might be pulled after uh, the video is done, but it was a video game that I just listed yesterday. But uh, I sold this DJ Hero uh, gamepad on Facebook. I got $20 for it. Um, it came from the auction house. So I had it for quite a bit. Um, that was the first one. I have two of them. That is the first one uh, to move. And then also on Facebook, so the Cuisine Art Waffle Maker for $25. This I got recently in New Jersey with Jess. And um, I think it was the same sale as uh, the Rocksmith video game. Just was all on Facebook, kind of weird. I think I paid two or three bucks for it. I, I thought it would be worth more because it's Cuisine Art. That's a pretty decent brand for kitchen appliances. Uh, but it wasn't. It was $25. If I didn't have a waffle maker already going with me to Florida, I probably would have just kept that. And um, I probably would have kept that one for me. But I already have one going with me to Florida. It's like a, more like a hotel style, professional style. Uh, so I'll be using that to make waffles on. So that, that's the Facebook sales. Um, pretty good. I can't complain. I'm used to having zero Facebook sales. So any sales that come on there, I am a happy camper with. Then I had a couple of Mercari sales. I sold a Skylander, but I'm not sure which one sold. Oh, that wasn't it. This guy uh, right here, he came from a recent Skylander buy. I think I paid $10 for like 20 or so Skylanders and uh this case and it's a third one to sell from that um bundle i think i got seven seven this one sold for five so the 19 dollars so i'm already in a profit on the skylanders um not amazing uh profit on there but 
uh, they're not amazing they sell for like, like i said between five ten dollars each but yeah i had like so many that it was worth paying a 10 for this is a better mercari sale right here i saw these ray-ban glasses with the case here is what they look like i got a hundred dollars for them uh they came from one of the private picks that i did i think i dropped five hundred dollars on this private pick but it's been a really good one for me i've been making a lot of money on it and those ravens came from there so that's it for mercari and now we have poshmark poshmark has been doing pretty well for me throughout the week and this weekend i think i got one two I got four poshmark sales a piece of clothing that i pulled in the other room and then three hard goods we'll start with this one right here because this is actually a teaching moment i don't know how often i give you guys teaching moments on this channel hopefully you guys uh hopefully you guys watch and learn something from me with these but this right here is something you guys should be looking for so the mr coffee iced tea maker they wanted five dollars for us at the yard sale um it was brand new sealed i got it with the lifeline that if it doesn't sell for much like if it sells for like 20 or 30 dollars new because mr coffee isn't the best brand so if it only sold for like 20 or 30 dollars new i would have kept it for myself it's kind of my little lifeline now with buying like kitchen appliances and kitchen tools like this that if it doesn't sell for much i'm like ah, right, cool i'll take you to florida with me i want to need I'll, I'll have an iced tea maker whatever you know you need iced tea in florida but to my surprise that right there Actually, it sells for some decent money. Used ones of those sell for $40 to $50. New ones sell for more. Duh, duh. What did I get for this? I don't remember. $90. This thing sold for $90 on Poshmark. So, Mr. Coffee Ice Tea Maker. That is something you should be on the lookout for. I don't think I've heard anybody else say it before but me. So, here we go. Mr. Coffee Ice Tea Maker. You're welcome. <laughs> this one isn't... Uh, like a surprising bolo. Everybody talks about these DVD VCR combos. You guys already know that there's a lot of money in them. I think that's like one of the biggest like, surprises for me when I first started reselling. That though, like these hunk of junk were worth so much. You would th like, like <laughs> I was like, what people people need those? Like that was one of the surprising things for me. That was like one of the biggest like culture shocks when I started reselling. Was that those things are worth something. There is a Devo brand. I think I pronounced that wrong. I don't know. Day, D A E W O O. Devo brand uh, that has been tested and working. And I sold it for $60 on Poshmark. And then the last hard goods Poshmark stand, uh, Poshmark sale is right here. This heirloom cast iron gorgeous Christmas tree stand. I have another one in the box that I'm selling as well. I got them like, back to back weeks. I got them. Um, one after the other both in new jersey as well and the only reason i looked to pick them up is because kayla taught me in georgia when we hung out when uh, we went to peaches to beaches together there was like a cast iron christmas tree stand there and she's like hey that one maybe not be worth much but there are other cast iron ones you should be looking out for and that got drilled into my head and as soon as i sold that one i bought it and they only went like three dollars for that one it sold for fifty dollars on poshmark so as you guys see pretty good sales Two years ago, this would be a good weekend for me. Even even last year, it would be a good weekend for me. Uh, 90 and 100, a 50, a 60, a couple of 20s. That's pretty good already. And that's not touching eBay. That is just the other platforms. So uh, really good, R really happy. I've been talking about this to myself and to other people as well um, on how to stay positive and not lose control and lose sanity in the reselling business. And a good way to do this is to, uh, to contrast, to look yourself, to look at yourself now compared to where you were a month ago, or a year ago, or two years ago, or three years ago. So, like, for example, last week I was really down that I only had like 55 weekend sales. Where I was like, man, I want more. This is a Q4. I want better. I want better and better and better. And I put on one of my videos from 2019, and I was like, I had a great weekend. I sold 12 things. <laughs> and so it's like crazy, like the comparison, right? Of where I was in 2019, I was ecstatic, I was ecstatic for 12 sales. I was like, dang, I had double digit sales on the weekend. This is great. And here I am complaining about 55, you know? So it's, it's like in those moments, you have to like kind of look back at where you came from and how you have, um, and how you have evolved and changed and bettered your life in the last year or two or three. So like that kind of put it into motion like, yes, I am blessed. I am blessed with every sale that comes. Um, 
And uh, I've been looking at it that way. I've been looking at life that way and I've been a lot more uh, happier. So maybe if you guys are going through a little rut, try that yourself. <laughs> Let's get the eBay sales now. Uh, so the Funko Pop, Walking Dead, Daryl Funko Pop. I remember I put this in my office. I got this guy recently in New Jersey. I think I spent a dollar or two on him. He sold for $12, not the most amazing flip, but a sale is a sale is a sale. So yesterday I went out picking with Jess again. We went to a decent amount of yard sales in New Jersey. And in Wanda, we started off pretty slow. I would like to say probably the first seven or eight sales, we didn't get anything like legit we bought nothing the first seven or eight sales and then after that it picked up i think like the 10 for 11 sale of the day i i bought i spent a hundred dollars on video games <laughs> this is one of the games there a guy had a whole box of xbox game he originally was asking ten dollars a game i was a little pricey for me he had like 27 games there i was like i, I was like i'll I was being real with him. I'm like, hey, I'm a reseller. I don't really want to scan here and see which games are worth my time. Would you take a hundred for the box? And he said yes. And um, uh, again, this is kind of how you look at. This is kind of how you look back and evolve at who you are now compared to where you were two years ago or a year ago. Two years ago, I would have been scared to offer that a hundred dollars to me. A hundred dollars was a pretty big investment without looking anything up. But now, with the knowledge of some of the games and having a bigger gut impact, I was like, a hundred bucks, sure, let's do it. And uh, he said yes. Um, and I listed them all yesterday. Kind of happy. Uh, happy with myself, part of myself. I listed all the games yesterday, and I think three of them, three of them already sold. So this is one of them. This is a, this is a complete in box Warriors game. This thing sold for twenty-five dollars. So if you guys are looking for for decent video games, I would say twenty-five dollars for a used game is pretty good. The Warriors. Here's one of them. So for twenty-five, so that's already one fourth of my money back. And as you guys will see later on, uh, that's not the only video game that sold from this bundle. One of them sold for pretty good money. So um, yeah, we had a lot of fun yesterday at the at at the yard sales. Uh, got a lot of got a lot of video games. Got a lot of records. I've, I've got a whole big total records for forty bucks that had some pretty good like Rolling Stones and and stuff like that in there. It's pretty funny. Like um, as soon as I was done purchasing i took this stuff to my car i come back the guy's like hey i have two more of these huge totes in the in the basement if you want to get them and i was like uh yes i'm interested i was like i'm go let me go to your neighbor which is down the street let me go to his sale come back to you and we can talk about it so i go to the neighbor i come back to him by the time i come back to him another guy is already there with both the looking at both the bins i look at the guys like yo what's going on and the guy's like oh yeah he's interested too like like pointing to me like like he was trying to get like a negotiation award between me but i looked at one of the bins it had some decent bands in there i wasn't doing any negotiation i was like you know what just you just you go buy them i already had the better in my opinion i already had the better titles in the car so i wasn't going to get into a, a negotiation war and it kind of felt like betrayed a little bit <laughs> like the guy said he was bringing them out for me and like not even five minutes go by and he already sold them somebody else so i was like yeah you know what this guy could take it i'm done all right i sold a party light uh fireplace christmas candle i don't know that i uh, a lot of people i i hear some hype about party lights that like that it's like a good brand and something you should be on the lookout for so far i haven't sold any party lights that are like really worth it to be honest i got all i got a bunch of them at a storage unit that's how that's why they're all here listed. I didn't like buy them at yard sales or anywhere else. Uh, just because I bought a, because I got a bunch of the storage unit and I listed them all. And that kind of gave me an education on party lights. And I was not impressed. To be honest, I wasn't impressed with the money I was getting for them and how long it takes them to, to sell. So this one right here only sold for 15 bucks. So that's not something I'm looking for to flip. Something like that fragile, sell for $15. No, thank you. So I stay away from party light. So yeah, I got a bunch of records. Uh, speaking of records, guys, I am going back on whatnot. Um, this video should be released before my whatnot sale. I'm having a whatnot sale on Wednesday. I'm selling all of these records. All these records right here. I, I went through the stash that I got 
uh, instead of just like bringing you guys a bunch of like Andy Williams and ballet stuff and all that stuff right there, instead of doing that on whatnot, I kind of separated the decent names that I knew. I'm not really that good into music, so so hopefully there's some good ones in there. With the ones that, that aren't that good, like the Andy Williams of the world and the Johnny Mathis and all all those like that classical style. And I sold all those locally. I didn't get much for them. I think I sold them locally for like. Uh, I sold I sold them locally for like 30 bucks. There was over 100 records there. And then the rest of them I'm going to bring to Whatnot and sell for $2. I'm going to have the sale starting at $2. I think that's pretty fair. There's some, there's like Jenner Jackson in here. There's, there's the Rocky soundtrack. There's Olivia Newton-John. There's other 80s rock and stuff. So hopefully um, people will be interested in, and it'll be great to get rid of majority of them on Wednesday, if not most of them. If you guys want to come to that sale, you are more than welcome to. Just got two more sales came through. Would you look at that? Both closed. So we're not going to have to talk about them. But two more sales came through. Very happy here. Some uh, some Chico black and green geometric button blouse sold. And a vintage uh, Varsity Temple University hoodie sold as well. The Monster High Nintendo Wii game. This probably came in one of the big bundles of Wii's that I bought over the summer. I would guess that's where it came from. Uh, not really worth. Um, not a good game for you guys to be looking for, but it sold. Six bucks. I can't complain. I'm happy to see things move. Forgot to give you guys an update on Macari and Poshmark. I don't know if you guys even care about the update or not, but <laughs> let's see. Macari has a total balance right now of $1,469. That's, it, it was a pretty big jump from last week because uh, I had a couple big sales that cleared, but there hasn't, uh, this week, I have four pending from this week that sold, but they're not, nothing major. And then on Poshmark, my pending balance on there is $800. So, but Poshmark has some big ones that didn't clear yet. And then had a pretty big weekend here too. So Poshmark is slowly coming back, but I'm already like blown away with the number. What's that? Like I'm like at $2,200 on both platforms. I was hoping to have 2000 total by the time I move. And um, looks like I might have doubled that, if not more. So very, very happy with the progress that is happening on Poshmark and uh, Mercari. Next on eBay, I saw the troll. Got to go to my little, my little drawer here. I think it's in the Cali Luis drawer. Do I put my trolls? I believe this guy right here is the one that sold. Thank you, Cali Luis, for sponsoring the sale. Yep, this guy right here sold for eight bucks. Uh, he was part of the big uh, sale uh, video I posted last week where he was in this troll case that I'm selling as well. This is one of the trolls that was in there. I think I paid 20 bucks for the whole case with everything in there. I believe that's what I paid. I've already sold a couple of trolls. Been getting like around like 10 bucks for each one. So not amazing profit, but they are selling. And they're really easy to list, really easy to, to ship. So that guy right there is joining the party and it's gonna be shipped out as well. I got a couple more video games that sold. I sold some Madden games. <laughs> How many resellers talk about that? <laughs> Nobody sells Madden games, right? What the heck? Uh, I sold them for the Sega Genesis. These three games right here, Madden 96, 97, 98. Uh, for the Sega Genesis, they sold for $15 plus shipping. They came in the big Sega bundle buy that I made earlier, I think like three weeks ago now. And most of the games in that bundle sold. I really don't have that many left. And I'm in the profit already way in the profit on there so another one of these holiday living uh light testers these guys are moving a little faster than i expected them to move to be honest this one sold for full price 15 dollars plus shipping this is the third one now or fourth one to sell so they're moving way faster than expected than expected uh, they're part of the free pick that i made like a month ago now so zero into that, very happy with that. Next I saw the Sony NP80. It's a battery only for a video camera. And I guess this is a desirable one. This little battery by itself so for 20 bucks. Can't be complaining about that. Alrighty guys, this conclude part one of the order pool video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part two in a couple of days.